Hello, this is Glitchy Scripts. I'm going to show you today my latest progress in Halo 2, which is essentially uh, custom menus and custom languages, essentially. Um, yeah, first off, just open the game like normal. Um, so, since through our mod, uh, Project Cartographer, there is no game for Windows Live anymore, so nor is there a uh, like a edit profile or talk to friends or any kind of that kind of menu that slides it down from above. Um, and so this button here, the guide button, it no longer does anything. Um, so I've brought back our own guide system, which will do many of our own uh, custom things. <laughs> I've got big plans for it, I guess. Um, and so I've been reversing the native menu within Halo 2, the native menus, and I've been able to do a proof of concept. Uh, this is all subject to change, but essentially the base concept of this sort of menu will be possible. Um, account and update, don't do anything yet, of course. Credits, just list out some people, I haven't really finished listing yet. Um, nor is that complete. Um, but, yeah. Here's the basic idea that we're going to have like all these different options and toggleable options on the go. Which is pretty handy. As well as languages. Now, this is pretty cool. This took me a bit to figure out as well. Um, of course, the system default and then the other languages the game natively supports. And in case you want to create your own, and you'll be able to select it through here. Um, these are just tests at the moment. They don't actually implement Russian or Games Windows Live, uh, whatever that would have been. That's just a test. <laughs> um, but I can, dem can demonstrate it. So when you load it, it will essentially, I've got a definition of it here. Um, the name of the font the language it's based off, which in this case is English. Um, I forget what that does. <laughs> and the font table that it should use. Um, in this case, the font table exists. Oh, the font tables will always exist in the fonts folder, within the maps folder. Um, and then it uses this font. Um, usually it has all these different fonts for different parts of menus and uh, etc. But in this case, this lets you use um, characters um, in the Rus Russian alphabet or whatever. I'm not, I don't speak it, so this was just to show that it was possible. Um, so I noticed the font is slightly different, and I can change the strings the game would show. I could also change the main menu um, strings by using like the menu ID and the string uh, or label ID and I could just like put the uh, alternate label in there and it'll automatically override whatever it would have been. Um, yeah, so it's pretty customizable I guess. It's all within this one INI folder uh, file within the games install. Um, yeah, so this is possible within games, um, but it just hasn't been finished, probably finished, but notice how, oh yeah, um, there's hotkeys as well, so the home key brings this up like it once did. Um, let's swap this, I'll swap it back in a moment, just to show you. Notice how you can stack menus, or like this, you can back out. Um, some different areas, it's not entirely possible. Notice how it blimps in and out. Yeah, there's some difficulties, and just press it twice, the home key twice within one and a half seconds to bring up the one you want. And bring up the menu. Um, yeah, so it's. I try to make it available from anywhere. Uh, let me just close the game so no one joins. Um, so. Notice I just have to press it twice there. If I want to go into these menus, oh, actually I want to go back one. Oh, it backs out completely. It's a um, yeah, it's a bit of an issue. I doubt anyone's going to fix it, 
that it's good enough. It's a bit of a hack as is. But um, yeah, we can switch back to the system default, which will give me English as it was. And I am still in the lobby. So that is that kind of thing is possible, swapping languages while in lobbies. Hopefully I'll just figure it out to do it in game. Um, and you can make alternate um, edits of the base languages. So there's E English. I just named it something for a test. Um, this is it here. It's based off the English language. Its language ID is three, and I, I forgot what that one does. This is going to be in a different video anyway, explaining it all. But um, yeah, this this is uh, this kind of thing is going to be possible. So um, yeah, I think that's all I had to show for today. Just being able to do custom menus was the biggest thing. This has been a project. I've been working on bit by bit over the uh, more than six months, the past six months. This is, uh, yeah, been a long time in progress. <laughs> Every time I think I'm getting close to completing it, oh, there's something else that takes ages or I don't know how to do yet. And yeah, this is this is really close now. So thought I'd make a video on it. Um, yeah, peace out. Have a good one. And, yeah.